Hi, yogis. I am Nicole from Nicole Star Studios. So as you may have heard me mention um, before, that I was going to offer 52 classes, 52 videos on Vimeo. And even though you may not be watching these consecutively in the way that I shared them, this would be lucky number 52. And it coincidentally falls on the same day as the last day of our 21 day moment of Zen um, Instagram yoga challenge. So I thought this would be a really good way to kind of round out those offerings and move on to the next chapter of um, Nicole Star Studios uh, and offering classes a little differently um, so that the studio can progress. So anyway, just like what we practiced again this morning in our moment of Zen challenge, and if you have not participated in that, you can go on Instagram and see it. Um, and again, also understanding that you may not have been watching these classes consecutively over the last, well, I would say year, but uh, if you watch one class a week for 52 weeks, then this would give you a year's worth of content. So anyway, I think a really good way to round all of that out would be with some loving kindness meditation. So come to a comfortable meditative seat. You can sit up on blankets, bolsters, blocks, whatever feels best. If you're curious about different meditation positions, um, there's a video for that <laughs> on, on meditation positions that would serve you. And you wiggle side by side, forward and back, finding where your sitting bones are most rooted and grounded. You can have your palms either up or down on your knees or thighs. Palms can be open or practicing a mudra, a hand gesture of choice. And if you're ready to close your eyes, feel free to do so. If you're not quite there, then simply soften your gaze as you take a deep breath in. Cleansing sigh. Just dropping into this space. Dropping into this moment, connecting with your heart. Inhaling the arms down, around, and up, palms touch. Exhaling hands to heart center, clasping your fingers, opening up your palms, and resting them on your heart. And as you breathe naturally, organically, maybe you can sense the beat of your heart. The pulse. The love that resides there. This wellspring that you must keep full so you have of something to give. So as we continue to breathe here, feel, imagine, sense this wellspring of self-love being filled. Being filled with love from source, whatever that means to you. 
the source greater than you, grander than you, bigger than we are. By tapping into this love from source, we fill our cup. allowing ourselves to give up that source without depleting our own. If you sense that this wellspring needs to be filled a little bit more, then stay here. If you sense that you have some to give, again, understanding instead of giving of your source, you give of a source grander than you. Then you can bring your palms touch, opening up your pointer, middle, ring finger. Silently repeating, may all beings be safe and at ease. May all beings be happy and joyous. May all beings be free from suffering. May all beings be filled with love and kindness. May all beings be safe and at ease. May all beings be happy and joyous. May all beings be freed from suffering. May all beings be filled with love and kindness. May all beings be safe and at ease. May all beings be happy and joyous. May all beings be freed from suffering. May all beings be filled with love and kindness. Repeating on your own.
finishing the round that you are on. Closing ring, middle, pointer finger, clasping palms, fingers, releasing palms to heart. And for a moment, simply drop back in. Notice that in giving of source, of source love, You do not deplete yourself of your own. At the pace of what is real. Stop talking, stop thinking, and there is nothing you will not understand. Like most people I know, I struggle with talking too much, taking too much on, with doing too many things, with moving too fast, with over committing, over planning. I have learned that I must move quite simply at the pace of what is real. While this pace may vary, life always seems vacant and diminished when I accelerate beyond my capacity to feel what is before me. It seems we run our lives like trains, speeding along a track laid down by others, going so fast that what we pass blurs on by. Then we say that we've been there, done that. The truth is that blurring by something is not the same as experiencing it. So no matter how wonderful opportunities come my way, no matter the importance placed on these things by others who have our best interests at heart, I must somehow find a way to slow down the train that is me until what I pass by is again seeable, touchable, feelable. Otherwise, I will pass by everything and put it all on my resume, but will have experienced and lived through nothing. Connecting to the pace of your heart. Again, noticing that it will accelerate. It will slow down. And you must somehow find this balance the right speed at the right time. Filling it up. Letting it be emptied. Connecting with source. Bringing palms touch, bowing head to heart. The divine light in me honors the divine light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much, yogis, for joining me in our practice. Again, please know that you can continue these classes. There are different membership options online. And if you have any questions, please reach out. Till next time, yogis, stay in the light.